there's such thing as making wind. Woo! Tooting. Farting. I had some gas. Oh! But today, we are going to be talking about the science, science, science of flatulence. Flatulence. I'm Dr. Michael Berglund, and today we're talking about the science of farts. Yes, you heard me. Farts. The truth is, there's usually three reasons people have gas. One, they got some funky bacteria or funky organisms, parasites, uh, even some yeast overgrowth can cause it. It's what we call in the healthcare field dysbiosis, which basically means there's good bacteria in there, but there's also some bad bacteria in there. So that's one reason. The second reason is just Incomplete digestion. Proteins, carbohydrates, fats should have been processed, digested up higher in the stomach or the small intestine, and they've made it into the colon now, and guess what? There's still edible food there. And what do you think the organisms do down there when they find edible food? Why, they eat it, of course. What do they make when they eat it? Two things, carbon dioxide and methane. So that's the two reasons. The third one is situational. You've got either bad constipation or bad diarrhea and the, the gas or, or, or you've got a GI bug and it, the gas just comes with that. That's part of the dysfunction that, that is the colon. It's a septic system. It's the body's deposit of all the, uh, the rem remnants of food in there to be processed so that it can be excreted. Now the hard part that a lot of people don't understand is a quarter of the dry weight of your colon is actually bacteria. Now that's healthy bacteria, that's good things. Um, but when we get when that gets messed up, that's when people start getting gassy. Now there's some foods, cauliflower, broccoli, uh, cabbage. So those ones can produce a lot of gas in people. The other one that's renowned for it is, of course, beans. People have all heard of Beano. This is not a marketing program. I'm not advertising Beano. But what Beano is, is Beano is just basically digestive, digestive org enzymes in a juice. So you dribble a few on. They help pre-digest the food before it even goes in you. It gets in you, it digests it, and guess what? There's less for the bacteria to eat when they get down there. What's the proper face for that? 